Hi, I am KB with uh, Nerdophile. So lovely to meet both of you. <laughs> lovely to meet you. So I am digging in the series so far, but let me start with you, Neil. So, I mean, this might be the hardest question, but for you, who was the hardest character to adapt from the video games and which characters arc are you most proud of this season? Ooh, the hardest character to adapt. I don't, I don't, uh, it's, I, th I think maybe it speaks to just like the, the process being so smooth that I'm having a hard time answering this question. I guess it's always like, um, I think Joel in some ways, uh, because written the wrong way, he could be a, a cliche character of like just a tough brooding. And it was important for us to capture the nuance of like how tortured he is and like that there is, um, there's a vulnerability there, but there's also like humor, uh, like capturing the humor in this world was, was, was uh, an interesting challenge. Uh, but uh, being teamed up with Craig, again, who's just hilarious, uh, I think made that, made that task a lot easier. And then we kept kind of trying to top each other, like how we insert humor into this pretty dark journey. Yes. And so whose character arc are you most proud of? Maybe it's not necessarily Joel's uh, because boy, oh boy, do they go on a, a journey <laughs> this season. Well, the, as far as character arc, it's like, you know, the the, the long arc of the story and where it hopefully eventually goes if, if we get another another crack at it, if this season does well, is, is Ellie. And it's like a very long, multi-year journey for her and where she is going to eventually end up. Yeah, yeah. Ellie is <laughs> a little spitfire, uh, as like I like to call her. I absolutely love Ellie's character so, so much. Um, so for you, Merle, you know, uh, definitely Marlene is the fierce Firefly leader. And, you know, you've done this before. You've voiced her in the video games, and now here you are in live action form. So what would you say is Marlene's greatest weakness, uh, you know, kind of in the series this season? Um, and how does that dramatically impact the choices she makes? Her greatest weakness? Um, hmm. You know, what's interesting is that um, because I had, you know, walked in her shoes and 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 uh, played out a lot of uh, of, of storytelling around her, um, I, I think it in in some ways there were there were parts of her that I'd become sentimental about. And I had to really free myself and release myself of of those things or ideas about how she may or may not react. Because one, you know, it's a completely different situation with with um Joel, uh, Joel and Ellie that that express themselves, you know, with 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 um fresh insight and fresh inspiration. So um I think I, I found myself um, surprised by her, by Marlene in many ways. And, um, and, and I got the opportunity to revisit some of the things that had only existed in my imagination, um, around who she was, where she, where she had been, what she has been through and what kind of decisions she would make and how she would make those decisions. So I think her vulnerability is something that, um, was uh, something wonderful to chew on in this iteration. Oh, I love that. I do. I do. Because there are so many different layers to Marlene that you see. And even from the beginning and just even kind of in her dynamic with Ellie specifically, there's so many different sides of Marlene that you get to see. Um, so my last question is, I mean, obviously you guys were filming this during the pandemic featuring pandemic, you know, content. How did you guys kind of decompress, uh, you know, uh, at the end of each day on set and then maybe after after production? Um, and I'll start with you, Merle. Mm, you know, I'm thinking about some uh, time that we had, um, you know, first of all, we were shooting in beautiful Alberta, which is gorgeous. And it had lots of open space and, you know, I was able to, to go up to Banff and hang out at, at Lake Louise. And, but there were periods of time where we were, you know, kind of isolated up in Grand Prairie. Um, and there, there wasn't a, 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 maybe a whole lot to do around there, or it wasn't, you know, we, we probably shouldn't venture out um, because I'm not like a, um, what's the world wilderness expert. Um, so, uh, you, we got to know each other and we got to hang out and we got to really, um, spend some time. And, um, it was, 
there's there's such wonderful people and artists across the board on on this piece um from in every aspect of how i've gotten to be a part of this world so it was a great great fun uh for for me uh craig is a massive fan of puzzles and escape rooms and at the time i've never done any so we've exhausted i think pretty much every escape room in calgary um on the weekends uh, and then outside of that is my go-to escapism video games. So I would come home and just play some video games. Love that. Love that. Well, I can't wait for everyone to see this. It's really, really well done. I mean, one of the best kind of video game to screen adaptations I've seen. And so thank you just so much for chatting with Nerdifiles. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It's great to Cheers. meet you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you both as well.